you everybody welcome to my brand new let's play um, you might know what this is in just a few seconds it's an older game but that's all right I don't mind someday and that day may never come I may call upon you to do a service for me until that day Accept this as a gift. That's right. That is what we are playing. Um, pretty much in this video, you're pretty much just going to see me set this up and whatnot. Um, <laughs> Oh, it's got connected, whatever. Stupid thing. But anyway, you can see me make my guy and whatnot and what I look like. And we're gonna rise to the ranks of the Godfather. We're gonna start out slow. No, just fucking go. Okay. You can tell. Whatever. Racketing shit. We're gonna. Play the prelude. Yeah, we wish to play that. <laughs> Dumbass. I had to read what that was. Anywho, um, if you liked my last Let's Play, I'm sure you'll like this one. Celebrate tonight, taking Serafina to the Continental Club. Hey, baby. Mm. Where's my boy? Mm. He's been playing handball in the alley all day. I thought the noise was going to drive me nuts. My sister's looking after him tonight, though. Good. Oh. Well, don't that suck? I'm just saying that kind of sucks. Anywho, too bad about your bakery. Don't let him get away. That was nuts. Sorry, Johnny. It's just business. Give it to him. Oh, by the way, this game has a lot of blood in it. That's me right there. Take your 
Dun dun da. See, we get to now, uh. Wait, I can be losing my hair, or I could have. Or, I mean, fatness of the chin, or. Very, very thin chin. I say probably about right there. I could have a massive forehead. I could have a tiny forehead. Uh, we'll do a boat right there. Forehead feature. Yeah, we'll do that one. I have no idea. Skin color. I'm white. <laughs> I'm white. That guy has to be white. Hair. I can have different kinds of hairstyles. Oh, I can have a little afro. Uh, crew cut. Pretty much bald. I like that. I have it really long or very short. Let's see here. I'm more of that kind of color, I think. No sideburns, huh? <laughs> um, yeah, that's more me. Eh, yeah, good enough for that, I guess. Yeah, let's fuck that. Chin, I can have a big chin, huh? I guess you can't see it. Huh. <laughs> Whatever. Okay. Holy shit. And be really fat. That ah, looks pretty good. We gotta do the tailor shot. Let's see here. Double breasted coats. Whoa! Insufficient. Aw. How about dress shirts? Oh, no. my black. Uh, I guess that's good enough. I don't have enough money. Aw. Score coats? Aw. I don't have no money. I have no fucking money, really. Alright. Fuck that, man. Huh. What's a good name? Hmm. What should I pick as a good... You know what? We're gonna go with Tony. We're gonna go with Tony. <laughs> Just cause that sounds like a... I couldn't think of a better name off the top of my fucking head. It's fucking sue me. Whatever. Anywho, so I have not played this game before in my life. I don't even know what I'm really expecting to play in this. Um, just look seemed like a fun little game to play after the last ones, you know. All right, let's fucking go. Pissed away nine minutes of your guys' time here. Don I am honored and grateful that you have invited me to your home. Uh, yeah. Oh. It's been too long since you've come around. What's troubling you? Godfather. My husband was always loyal to you. He died for that loyalty. I have 
not forgotten him, nor the loss that you have suffered. Have you ever wanted for anything? Haven't I always taken good care of you? But you know, forgive me. It's only that I'm so worried about my son. He's fallen in with some bad men. Fools. He's in trouble. Please. He needs your help. Godfather. Dun dun dun. Dramatic moment and then that their voice child be a masculine child. Thank you, Luca. One of the most valued friends. Don Colio. I'm gonna leave you now because I know that you are busy. Thank you. One more thing, my friend. I need you to find someone for me. I'm found. I haven't played yet. Besides the little scene where my dad got the fuck shot out of him. Yes, we know. Jesus. Oh, if you wanted to read that, just pause the video, by the way. Um, I'm very impatient. I don't like waiting for shit to load. You ready? Let's see you move. Come on, kid. Cross your body for more power. Pull back your fist, kid. Charge your punch. Don't let him disrespect you, kid. Hey, you gonna fight or what? I want... Okay, lift him up. Keep him grabbed and let him have it. You picked the wrong friends, kid. Keep this guy grabbed and go to town. All right, kid, let's see if you can handle this one. Come on, ask what? Luca, Luca Brasi. Remember me? I was a friend of your father's. I, I remember you. What are you doing here? Looking for you, kid. The Don, Don Culione. He wants to make sure that you're safe. Made a promise to look after you, get you out of this petty thug bullshit. What does he want to do with me? If you're talking about the Don. You should be asking what are you going to do for him? But hold with the questions. We gotta leave before the cop show. Haha! <laughs> I got some. Oh, I found a, mov a movie unlocked in the film archive. <gasps> dun dun dun! Okay, kid, here's a few things to get you started. Your map will help you find your way around New York. I've marked the Colleone safe house on it. Go there first, get yourself cleaned up. Safe house. Got it. Also, your notepad can be used to keep track of your various jobs. If you're ever confused about what to do, just check the notepad. Okay, Luca. Anything else I should know? Yeah, and this is important. We're at war, kid, and little Italy ain't safe. This guy's one of my soldiers, my crew. He's gonna stick by you for a while and make sure you get to the safe house in one piece. Now get moving. Contact you later. Okay, blah, 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 blue, mission objective. Okay. Fucking run, man. Yeah. So you're the Don's new recruit. Oh. Okay. Okay. 
Get to the Corleone yeah. safe house. Really? Whatever. Fuck it. I'm Come fucking... and get some, sucker! Fuck you! What? Why don't we have a car, man? Why don't you try bribing that cop over there? Okay. The Corleones will be grateful if you turn down the heat. Sure thing. I'll do what I can. Thank you. Important when you unspend skills, though. Okay. Oh. Good job. Maybe now the cops will lend us a hand. Oh God, driving. Never good at driving. Okay, welcome to the safe house. Blah, 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 blah. I'm already upstairs, you dumbass. Okay. Oh. Oh, wait. There's shit here. Oh, full health. Okay. Apparently. Whatever. Have to fucking save it. Save a new game. Yada, yada, yada. I got the fucking baseball bat. Okay, who's the asshole that puts the fucking phone downstairs? I mean, like, seriously. Luca's gonna meet you outside. I wouldn't keep him waiting. Okay. I'm here. <laughs> hey, kid. Let's take a walk. It's less crowded now. I like that. It makes it easier for a man to get his business done. I make good money. I help the family. I get a little action on the side. But one thing must be understood. I would never go against the Godfather. <laughs> seem to give a damn about paying us respect. He's giving his kickbacks to the Tatalians. Needs to be taught a lesson. So you're gonna get sent a guy that has nothing to do with the family into the fucking family business? Hmm. How fucking stupid. I want you to have a word with Emilio. Convince him to pay his dues to the Corleones. Think you know what to do? Sort of. How should I handle it? Eh, it depends. With some guys, you only need to show a little respect. Just walk up to him and talk to him. A little negotiation goes a long way. Got it. And if the guy don't look like he's gonna crack? Then you remind him why he needs protection in the first place. Try turning up the pressure, but don't go too far. A man pushed past his limits can be dangerous. Um, yeah. You want to earn some protection money? First, you got to find a business right for the taking. To extort the owner, you got to convince him that it's in his interest to pay us, capiche? Each merchant falls under different kinds of pressure, and everyone has a weak spot. Some folks will listen to reason. Others, well, you're going to have to uh, apply pressure. When targeting a merchant, you'll see his pressure show up under his health. Everyone has two lines, where they'll give in and where they'll fight back. The closer you can push a merchant to their breaking point without pushing them over, the more cash you'll take home. Did you just see that guy just take a nut shot take there? So much. Push them too far and they'll snap. Maybe even take you on. 
persuasion isn't hard. You can threaten the poor schmo with your bare fists or a gun. You can smash up his shop, even beat up some unlucky customers. All sorts of ways. Me? I like the simple approach. Crack open the register with his own head. Sometimes, though, you won't even have to break a sweat. If the shopkeeper asks for a favor, you might be able to win him over by doing what he asks. Earn his loyalty, you'll be rewarded in kind. Awesome, huh? Okay, pressure meter, da, 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 pause if you need it. Okay. Luca Brasi sent me. He has some business he wants to settle with you today. Why should I even give you a dime? Come on, I'm just a working guy. Stop, I, I give up. Listen to me, Leo. The Corleones run this neighborhood. If you're not paying them, You'll pay the consequences. I don't want no trouble with you. Take the money. Give Luca Brazzi my regards. <sighs> Woohoo! <sighs> Some business I found to fuck the file. Oh shit. Oh great. Gotta listen to the fucking racket song. You wanna own New York City? You wanna be the king? You've gotta control the rackets. They're all over town, usually in some crappy little shop with a dirty secret. These shops are called fronts, and they're hiding the illegal racket stuff that's being pushed on the streets. Wake the shopkeeper, and maybe he'll let you poke around his business. If you're lucky, you'll find the racket boss. Try cracking some skulls and persuade him to show the Corleone some loyalty. But it's better to buy him out instead, if you can afford it. The more rackets you control, the more cash you'll make for the family. But to be a real earner, you have to find the warehouses supplying the fronts. These fortresses are a tough nut to crack. But if you take one over, you'll discover where all the liquor, weapons, and other racket merchandise actually arrives in New York. The hub. Taking over a hub is the key to breaking the rival family's back. There's another way to get your teeth into those rackets. Hijack their supply trucks first. Each neighborhood is full of trucks smuggling goods from warehouse to business and back. Stop the truck and take out the guards, then rough up the driver. Take his keys, stash the truck somewhere safe, and you'll score some fat loot. Finally, don't forget to check in on the local brothels and casinos. Those gamblers, pimps, and madams tend to stick together, but if you smooth talk the owner just right, Ooh. you might find yourself sitting in their lap of luxury. Yay for me on that one, right? Alright, well, I gotta pause it here real quick, so just sit tight with me for a minute. <laughs> 